just drove up on this nice antler here. Yeah, that's a nice horn. <clears throat> That'll bring in a few bucks. Oh, that's a dandy. I'm gonna search around here, see if uh, the other one might be pretty close. Still got quite a bit of roads to do today, just getting out here. First time this year. Yeah, that's a really nice hit. Boy, I'd like to find the other one of that. Match. There's the old Bearcat, still, still going. Put a lot of parts in it over the life, but still going. See ya. Well, it's the, uh, I believe it's the 16th of January. I'm out here in the woods, northern Maine, looking for uh, moose antlers. And uh, we did find one, found a very nice, nice moose antler. They're selling for $12 a pound. I don't necessarily do it for the money, but uh, it's nice to pay for the gas. Gets you out here and out here in beautiful, some beautiful country along the Allagash River at an undisclosed location. Pretty far up, but uh, not much moose sign, not a lot. Uh, Pretty low percentage area, but uh, it's a place I always like to go. Years ago, there was a lot of moose here. Uh, I think they've been shot off during moose season. Having a coffee. I keep my thermos under the hood so that I can uh, piping hot coffee all day long. Warm your body. And if something happens to the sled, well, you have something warm for a while. Later. We're out here looking for moose antlers and uh, just happened to turn up this road. Back there, there's a big washout and I was debating whether I was gonna go try and get around it. I had to go down in the bushes and stuff to get around. But I just come up here probably 100 yards and I felt my, my ski hit something. I looked back and... Nice Wattler. Yes sir. Getting her done. We'll find a way to strap that one down. Well, I guess I'm... Um, I did see a lot of tracks up here when I was down there looking at whether I was going to go through, so I figured I'd come up here and see. So. Wherever there's activity in the snow, you know there's moose there, so there might be an antler. See you later. Well, it's starting to snow. They had forecasted uh, three to six maybe for today and tomorrow. Out here in northern Maine looking for moose antlers and there's number three on the day right there. This looks like a pretty good, pretty good fella. Oh gosh, yeah. This is a nice color. So I can throw it down and not get the snow all over it. Look at that, huh? I got the two from uh, previously. On my odometer, I caught, I got one, the big one, at 12 miles. I got the smaller one at 18. I don't know what this one is, I'm probably at 24, but I did some backtracking on these roads here. But, up here in northern Maine, Allagash. I'm in the Allagash Wilderness Waterway watershed. Uh, I was down close to the river a while ago, but I'm back up on the high ground. This is all Ramsey Brook Road. Probably shouldn't have said that, but... It's well known there's quite a few moose up in here. A lot of competition now for moose antlers. Uh, there's somebody there's somebody on every every road except for this one. This road right here, what what's what's going on with this one? Down there, 
there. Uh, just around the turn, there's a big bunch of alder bushes, and a lot of these guys with brand new sleds don't want to take them through that bunch of bushes, but uh, the old bear cat will go, we'll push through. And then it opens up into this wide road for a couple miles. Well, we'll strap her down, carry on. Later. Oh dear, looking for some moose antlers. I got my brother-in-law with me. Actually, I'm in his pickup. He's a paraplegic, and when we go from road to road, I just put him on the trailer, pin it up, and he stays on the back, and when we go somewhere else, I just unpin the trailer, and he backs off the back. Yep. Logging accident took his, broke his back. We still have fun. Over and out.